Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the changes to the quizzes function in D2L version 10.3. This is one of the last tutorials in the series regarding the changes in 10.3 simply because there are not that many changes to quizzes. Since most instructors do use the quizzing function in their courses, however, you are likely to encounter these changes fairly frequently. The good news is that these changes are modifications to existing functionalities which you're probably already familiar with. Just for review, we can get into the quizzes function directly from the nav bar, which is located near the top of your course screen. For this tutorial, we will be working from a course in the 10.3 beta environment. You can tell that you are in a beta environment course because the screen has a cool green background when you are viewing it in full screen mode. Here's what we see after clicking on quizzes in the nav bar. The top line menu options, manage quizzes, question library, and statistics still remain in the same locations in 10.3 as they were in 10.1. The new quiz, edit categories, and more actions buttons below the top line menu bar similarly have the same names and are in the same locations in 10.3 as they were in 10.1. It is when we click on the new quiz button that we experience the biggest and most significant change to quizzes. This is the view in 10.1. Notice how the layout questions button is all the way on the right side of the menu tab. This is the location that experienced D2L users are comfortable with. Here is the same view in 10.3. The Layout Questions tab is not where it used to be. But if you look down below the Name and Category boxes, which are also unchanged, you will see a new button called Add Edit Questions. Think of this as your old familiar layout questions button that went into the witness protection program. It resides somewhere else and also has a new name, but it's still the same person. Perhaps a way of remembering this change is to notice where we are within the quizzes function. We are now within the properties tab. In the previous version of D2L, when one was working on the layout of the quiz or adding questions, that was done outside of the Properties tab. Remember, it had its own separate tab. We are giving our new quiz a name, but we are going to leave it uncategorized for this tutorial. Notice the difference here in the 10.3 beta environment. Once we gave the quiz a name, we move on to this next screen where the familiar options of creating a new question or importing an existing question from some other location. Let's click on the new tab and see what we get. There are no changes to the drop down menu under the new button in 10.3 from 10.1. Everything has the same name and it's in the same sequence on the menu. Okay, so here's the last change to quizzes that we're talking about in this tutorial and that change notice takes place under the restrictions tab. It isn't a huge change, but it's potentially a time saver because, and here's what it looked like in 10.1, if an instructor chose to set start and end dates, if they didn't want to choose the now option, then there were three other menus to toggle through, the hour of day, the minute, as well as the AM and PM options. In this view within the 10.3 version, there now is only one menu to deal with in respect to time and I want to point out that the choices that you have now within that menu are all in half hour increments, every half hour on the half hour. Notice that the default time setting in the box is the current time of day. So the old familiar now button that some of you probably used is now the default option. So that's a lot easier. You might be wondering what if I want to set a precise time that's neither now nor in a half hour on the hour increment. Uh, you can still do that by clicking inside the hour minute box and type in directly the precise minute that you want your quiz to either start or end. 
And that's it for the changes to quizzes. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you have any questions about D2L, please contact the Office of Learning Technology Services. Learn at uwstout.edu.